<sighs> okay. I'm back. So, I've been uploading for a while. I have my excuses prepared, all right? So, don't come at me. Listen to my excuses first. So, <laughs> I have been streaming a lot harder. <laughs> it's kind of like I found games that I kind of want to play. And I've been, like, casually making playthroughs, you know? Most of my... Most of the people who, like, been subbed to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitch know that I've always done, you know, Twitch playthroughs. You know? Stream, live stream playthroughs. And I always do, like, YouTube playthroughs, you know? Without the whole stream and everything, just because they all have different feels, you know? When I'm playing a horror game, I mostly try and do it off stream just because it's a different feeling than playing it when it comes to streaming but it's been a while since i've actually streamed a horror game so i casually went back to resident evil 7 and preparing for resident evil 8 whenever that happens <laughs> I'm still avoiding all the spoilers, so I still know nothing about the game, thankfully. Um, casually doing another playthrough, for those of my uh, followers on Twitch, you guys already know the playthrough. I'm not going to spoil it for them, just in case, you know. But I will be uploading a lot of my like older stream playthroughs, because I did play through... What was it called? It was on Epic... Okay, it was No Straight Roads. That's what it was. I played No Straight Roads, but did not upload it. I think I still have either my Sekiro or Ghost of Tsushima gameplay that I can still upload. I just don't remember if I saved it because the whole Twitch copyright crap that I had to get rid of and I didn't know if any of those games had copyright. So I deleted a lot of my playthroughs that I did want to upload and I just didn't take a chance on it. But that's fine. You know, that's fine. There, there is a lot of more games I want to play because I really want to get back into my roguelike shit. And uh, that's the thing. I've been in this roguelike mood for a while. I kind of wanted to like restart up Hades and kind of play through that game again. Kind of wanted to like replay enter the gungeon i have so many roguelike games on my steam and epic it's insane <laughs> it's that bad but it's just finding the time to edit finding the time to just you know committed to all that that's why you guys don't see me like edit too much i just upload it because most of the time i don't have time to just like chop them up into an hour chop them up into like certain amount of time you know i don't like shorten it to 30 minutes just because i know that i'm not that type of creator you know i'm mostly a creator that allows you to like just watch my shit in the background while you're playing something or you know just have that thing you're just chilling with basically that, that's what my content basically is i don't try to like stretch it anywhere in it i'm just way more open that's kind of why you guys got like a three hour well the whole stream of resident evil 7 of me just finishing that i thought that game was like a lot shorter but nah we finished it in i think like eight hours i am pretty sure let's see i oh, know 10 hours actually but then again i think that was combined with my other playthrough i'm not sure but you guys can always go back and rewatch that you know catch up to where i was it's up to you i'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you or anything <sighs> i have a lot of playthroughs most of my stream playthroughs are kind of horror ish right now because i'm in that horror mood i would say if you guys don't know i almost ended up being a horror channel only when i first started streaming and that was like Medusa's Labyrinth, which I'm still kind of pissed that didn't turn into a full game. That I was actually hoping that this game would be a full game. 
Yeah, it's it's still free. I might revisit that game just to see. Just to go back on some memories, you know. Yeah, I'm still kind of sad that they didn't like just branch out into a full game. Guru Games, like, hey, hey, if you're seeing this and you remember me, where's my dude slapping, dude? Right at. <laughs> that game I thought was going to be like extremely amazing and you guys never did it. I see that you did a VR version of it. It's kind of like, is it fully done? Is there a lot more to it? I don't know. But yeah, I almost actually ended up being a horror channel. Only. You know, I got a lot of positive feedback on that video and most of the other videos. But then MMOs came along and I was just like, damn, dude, there's some good MMOs out here. Then, <laughs> uh, what was his name? MMO Hut, Omer, or Omar. I think that's how you say his name. After watching him, I was just like, damn, dude, I want to play some MMOs and just show them off. You know, first impressions of like the first starting area type thing. But then... It, after a while, MMO started to die off. Then, then I was like, damn, do I really want to sit back into this shit? <laughs> no. Then I got into mobile. <laughs> mobile games are like extremely fun, but I only had my eyes set on like two games, and that's Dragon Blaze and Falcon's Code, which is currently still going on too. On even on the second mobile only channel. I, I decided to separate them just because. Just, just a lot more shit I wanted to do on this channel. And I know there I had a, like a lot of people who followed me from mobile games. So I kind of wanted to separate them so they can just have their mobile only crap. And I'll just work a little bit harder into uploading there and uploading here. But when you think about it, I should have just said, fuck it. You guys don't get that. No, just <laughs> you get what I upload, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, the the mobile channels turned out to be just fine. It, it is what it is. If I could, if they had like a merging type thing where you can merge your channels together, I would do that. You know, all my videos would go over here, here and shit. That that would be perfect. But they don't. So, hey, what ifs? I'm gonna go on a train of two channels. I'm just gonna, you know, prioritize. The channel over others when i have the time to record i'll just be like huh i only feel like recording a mobile game today so boom there it goes if i only feel like uploading you know to my main channel it's just like there you go <laughs> if i get that rare mood to upload on both it's just like oh might as well <laughs> but yeah that that's basically what's been going on so if you guys never see like a video up on my main channel, then I'm more likely uploaded on my mobile channel. If you guys don't see it like a video on my mobile channel, I'm more than likely uploaded here or I'm streaming. Either one. I, I just don't stream or do anything on work days. On work days, just because I get home, I go to sleep. And by the time I wake up, it's, it's kind of like not a good time to do any of that just because it'll be really close to my work time. So yeah, I, I always get like as much sleep as I can as soon as I get home. So yeah, <laughs> some people are probably like, why don't you just get home and start playing games? I'm exhausted. I, I labor jobs are difficult and tiring. Okay. So hey, if I didn't do any of that and I was like popping off on YouTube, Twitch, you know, I I would be uploading every single day, streaming for you guys every single day, but I can't. All right. I can't. That's the important thing when it comes to a job. I can't. <laughs> if I could, I would. But there's also certain other things that I'm kind of learning and getting into. Um, it's going to be a surprise. You know, it, it'll happen when it happens. It's just collecting money for it is the annoying part you know and finding like the cheapest items for it 
Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of troublesome things, as you can hear. But I'm on a path with this main channel to make it just a main channel. Upload anything I want. If I want to talk to you guys, I can could, I could talk to you guys. If I want to react to something, I can react to you. If I want to play a game, I'm going to play a game, you know? Don't don't expect just gameplay, 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 gameplay. And don't expect just talking, just talking, just talking. Don't expect reaction, reaction, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Don't, don't expect me to just do something constantly and not switch it up, you know? Like E3 is going on. There's going to be a lot of games to react to. Is E3 going on? No, E3 goes on in June. June June's not here. June is second. That that's what it was. June is second E3. Is I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta. E3. Get him. Oh, it starts on the 12th. Never mind. It, two more weeks from now. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, E3 is going to be happening. I'm going to be re reacting to games. I don't know if... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to react to that on like a stream or anything. If it's Capcom, I'm definitely not reacting to that because Capcom has really high claiming issues with themselves yeah, visually too that that's that's the worst part they'll just be like oh shit is that our game fuck off it's, it's ours now yeah <laughs> so you can change it up as much as you want they're gonna be like nah fam nah it ain't going down like that <laughs> but i'm looking forward to e3 dude i want to see what's coming out what's gonna be good what's gonna be new I'm hoping for Elder Scrolls 6, <laughs> even though I haven't finished Skyrim, you know, I played through it. I played it though. I played it. But in all seriousness, E3 is always like really exciting just because these high quality games come out of nowhere that we've never heard of, you know, and it's kind of like when everybody first heard about Cyberpunk, you know. They were like all hyped and everything. And the hype was real, really. It was just like little minor bugs that, you know, people had. You know, some of them had PCs that could run it. Some of them didn't have PCs that could run it. Some people had issues on PlayStation. Some people had issues on Xbox, you know. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's y'all fault for making them, you know, rush it. I mean, you couldn't just wait another few days for it to be perfect, you know, actually pop off. I guess y'all learned your lesson about that one, huh? Yeah, you learned your lesson. But out of everything, what I'm really excited for is Outlast Trials. That's what I'm excited for. I'm hoping they show it off on this E3. That's the only game I'm like really hyped for because I enjoy the shit out of the Outlast series. Now, you y'all ain't getting the stream for this. I'm I'm casually just gonna be recording the shit out of this. It might I might just play through it in one day too. Cause I want like full immersion when it comes to like Outlast games. I wish there was more Outlast type horror games that had like good story and long gameplay, you know? None of that short, hey, dude, you only play for like a five hour type shit, you know? They're like really short horror games out there that are, that's just amazes me. <laughs> like we never like make them into like a full pledged game. It's just kind of like, here's their indie game. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> that type shit. I I'm kind of hoping that we get out of that, you know, and start making like some full horror games with like mechanics you know trippy shit you know big brain puzzles things like that i gotta say that when it comes to outlast i'm still saying that will always be the best horror at this point because it doesn't seem like anybody else is stepping up 
hey, Red Barrel got it unlocked. That's all I can say. Red Barrel got it unlocked. I mean, if if anybody else comes up into the plate and, you know, wants to go all out with them, shit, be my guest. There's tons of horrors like uh, Amnesia as well. Amnesia was actually pretty good. I didn't get to play the other Amnesia, the latest one, the pig machine one, just because when I first played it, it had a whole bunch of lag issues. But I can play it now because I got a better PC, so I don't have to worry about that. But looking at Outlast Trials, like screenshots right now, mm, there's three screenshots and I haven't even watched the trailer yet. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. We might have to watch the trailer here. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I haven't even watched the trailer yet. I just saw it. And I was just like, God damn, this looks like fun. But it's mostly like a versus type game. And I'm interested to see how they do this. I was about to say, you can go ahead and stop. You know you ain't using none of those other tools except for the bloody one. Damn, new specs. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Outlast. That's for sure. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the camera. We got actual like doggles. Oh, damn. Hmm. <laughs> it is coming this year, though, so I'm down. I'm fully down to do that. But yeah, right here. Outlast Trial is a survival horror game where you, you can survive yourself or friends online. That's a thing. Oh no, it's not a versus game. It's it's full on co op survival. Oh, okay, that that's actually a lot more fun. So a co op horror. With store, hold on a second. You know, hey, if it is like that, hey, it's grouping up with four people. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. You know what, rare bro? Keep doing your thing. You know, horror games with friends, I can always say, is like extremely fun experience. That's for sure. All those games hit different. I wish I could get my friends into them, but most of them are pussies. So, yeah. <laughs> but with that said, yeah, I'm back. I'm recording. And I will be uploading again. It's it's just finding the time to edit. And, you know, I can't mo edit most of the time because when I want to edit or want to record something, I, I get calls out of nowhere to play games. It is, it's not just Hollow too. It's it's other friends as well. But yeah, <laughs> uh, Hollow always wants to play League, so I'm like, yeah, why not? No, I, I play with my buddies unless I have like some actual plans. You know, that's why I always tell them to at least call me up before I start streaming. Or before I actually make plans, you know, like make an appointment with me ahead of time because I could be busy, like always. But yeah, 
if you guys want, you know, gameplay, you guys can always just follow me on Twitch because I do stream more often when it comes to Twitch. Whether it's mobile games or playthroughs, you know, or just chilling or playing with Hollow, who's brand risk. <laughs> But yeah, it's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.